Hello friends. Today we are going to read Busy Ants. The author is Kanchan Banerjee. The illustrator is Deepa Balsavar and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Busy Ants. So it sounds like this story is about ants. Are they busy? What are they busy doing? Have you heard them being called busy ants? Let's read the story and find out more. Hello, I'm the fourth one in the line. Can you see me? So what do you have here? This is a line of ants. Have you seen this before? Ants, they go together in groups and they are always in a line. They are going towards something. And the one that is telling the story is the fourth one in the line. Look, it's standing up and saying hello. Left, right, left, right. We walk silently in a line. So here you can see the line is so long. They are walking in a line as if they are marching. Left, right, left, right. They're all going one behind the other. I just got an idea. I am going to get a set of wheels to move faster. So what do you have here? This is a roller skate and a roller skate is a kind of shoe with wheels on it. So you can go faster on it. You don't walk, you roll. And this, this ant is standing on top of the roller skate saying, hey, I can use these wheels to move faster. We are not noisy like other animals. Ours is a language of smells. So what do you see in this picture? You see this child, you see the dog and the cat. They are all making some noise. The child is crying, the dog is barking, the cat is meowing. You've heard all these sounds. Have you ever heard any ants? No, right? They are very quiet. They talk with smell. One kind of smell says, follow me this way for a feast. So what do you have here? This is a cake and it smells really good, doesn't it? So when the ants smell a cake, what do you think they are going to do? They are going to form a line and find a way to get to the cake and eat it. Another smell says, danger, do not go there. So what do you have here? Somebody is cleaning the floor. There is some soap, there is some cleaner. It's not safe for us to eat or drink. And it's the same for the ants. It's not safe for them. And so the smell itself tells the ants, this is not something yummy. This is not something to be eaten. This is something that should be stayed away from. I love cakes and all kinds of sweets, just like you. So here again, you can see some sweets and who is coming to the sweets? The ants. Doesn't it always happen when there are sweets in the house? Always the ants find the sweets. Want to see my muscles at work? I may look very tiny to you, but I am very strong. So here the ant is lifting this thing that is so much bigger than it. So ants are very small, right? But they are still able to carry big things like sweets. And ant is even smaller than some of these things. But it's able to lift it just fine. How do they do that? 
ants are very strong also remember ants always work as a team even if something is this big the ants will work together they will all lift it together ants are very strong they can lift things bigger than them never mind if the door is shut i can slip through the smallest crack so you might have seen this too when there is something sweet in the house it doesn't matter how you hide it how you keep it behind a door you can see here behind this door there is all this sweet yummy stuff there are biscuits there are sweets but guess what the ants can find it and they can slip through see there is a small gap in the door here and the ant has slipped through it and all of these ants are now going to the sweets believe it or not hundreds of us live happily in a colony a colony is what you call a group of ants these group of ants live together just like you you and your friends your family everybody that lives together in an area and they depend on each other right these are ants that live together in a colony this is the ant hill the home that they build out of mud you might have seen some ant hills also they all live together and they go find food together and they help each other and they live happily now in this story you saw a lot about ants and you learned a lot of words that are used to talk about ants let's read a little bit more about these words let us learn some new words small big slow fast short tall thin fat hard soft noisy quiet here are some words with their opposites can you make a sentence for each pair of opposite words for example an ant is small an elephant is big as busy as an ant is a nice way to describe someone who is very hard working so here you have some words they are pairs of words and they are opposites small is the opposite of big slow is the opposite of fast and so on can you make a sentence for each pair of opposite words try that question for example an ant is small an elephant is big try to make sentences with these other opposites also as busy as an ant you might have heard that ants are always busy have you ever seen an ant just sleeping no right they're always moving around they're doing something they're collecting food they're saving food they're helping each other that's why when you say as busy as an ant it is a nice thing to say about somebody who is very hard working i hope you enjoyed this story thank you the difficult words in this story are ant colony a group of ants of the same type that live together and work together to gather food try these questions write down different words used in the story to describe ants try the exercise at the end of the story have you seen a line of ants or an anthill in your own words write about what you saw